For the Hamilton Tiger Cats, their time is spent on the field playing their opponents and hoping to win. When they do have a couple of spare moments, they like to spend their time with the people of Hamilton and check out various communities. This season we're doing uh, a bunch of different stuff. Well, the Cops and Cats season just started last month. It's very exciting where we travel across the different uh, high schools throughout Hamilton and uh, us and the police take on uh, a combination of either their boys and girls teams, sometimes teachers, it's basically whatever the school decides. It's a great program. Last year it raised a little over 25000 and we're hoping to eclipse that mark this year. Nick's uh, Kicks for Kids is going into its second year. That's with uh, Nick Set, our kicker, and it's uh, we're looking to grow it. So with that program, we're, this season we're going to bring about 150 kids at the end of the year to the Reebok outlet for each kid to get a pair of shoes. You know, Marwan uh, on our team is a very uh, outgoing personality. Uh, he's a locker room leader in our room, and uh, most importantly on my side of things is he's become a very uh, involved with the community and a great community leader. So, uh, you know, he's always looking to give back to the city of Hamilton. He's really adopted it as a sort of home away from home, and he, he wants to give back to anything he can do in the city, so. I'm Marwan Hage, center for the Hamilton Tech Cats. Born and raised in Lebanon, grew up in Montreal, and uh, moved to the States for uh, university. Played at the University of Colorado. Played for four years. Going into my sixth year, I was a uh, two-time CFLPA All-Star at center, and uh, East Division All-Star at the CFL. So two times nominee for the team, outstanding lineman. So you know, try to do our best, I guess. He's also started his own uh, player program, which is called Haitian Heroes, where. Uh, he does uh, numerous different things. Uh, last year, for example, he brought uh, about 55 kids to every home game and uh, talked to them before and made sure they got uh, lunch or dinner before the game. My third year, we started Hages Heroes, and uh, it started basically just inviting a few kids to the games. Oh, Sean, Sean is very crucial to it. Uh, Sean is, you know, I, I come up with the ideas, and usually Sean is the one who kind of runs with it and pushes it. And, we both work well together and he's done a great job for me. He directs everything for me. Last year we dealt with uh, Hamilton minor football where they send us teams, young kids to play football. So we always have kids. We have a lot of kids that want to come. So we start growing the program based on that. So that's the main of uh, the, the Hages Heroes is to bring kids to the game. Uh, the Hages Heroes section is section 30, uh, the first few rows. Uh, he's got his big sign with his uh, beautiful face on the sign and everything like that. So uh, he, uh, it's quite well known and it gets featured every game. So the kids get uh, their opportunity to show, be shown on the video board each game. So uh, as a club, we'll uh, showcase them each game. I enjoy seeing a kid coming out to a game. Doesn't have to worry about nothing. Just come out, we feed him, we give him you know, toys and stuff. Let him enjoy a game, have fun with his friends. Because it's hard. It's hard nowadays, especially, you know, Parents can't afford sometimes to take out these kids and give them a fun day with, without asking them nothing. You know, just come out and have fun, that's all we ask. He does numerous community appearances a year, so uh, last year I think he tracked over 120 hours of uh, community appearances for our team. Uh, so that's anything from going to classrooms to read to kids, to doing some hospital visits, um, to doing some corporate functions where he goes out and uh, helps our corporate team. We have a huge food drive on Thanksgiving. You know, which uh, which kind of took off, and I didn't think it was gonna be that big. Matter of fact, we, we got I didn't even think it was gonna be that crazy because we showed up. It was just me and my uh, program director and a couple of people, and we had to unload a thousand boxes. So, and they had like two fifty-three um, big trailers full of food, and it was three trucks, and you know, it was just it went crazy. So uh, it kind of turned out to be this huge thing. We fed a thousand families. This year, we're uh, we're setting up to feed fifteen hundred families. Marwan hopes that his community involvement continues to grow. Hopefully one day we can, you know, do something huge to a family or something, maybe like 
build a house or something. If we get to a point like that, that'd be something that'd be good to do, you know, like uh, give a scholarship to a kid. So slowly, slowly.